All right, now I'm loading up a random Minecraft world. Let's see where I'm building my land. Hey, not a bad spot right next to some badlands, the ocean. This is gonna be a good one. Here's the seed if anyone's interested. This is some prime property. At any point, you could also download the finished product if you check the link in the description. This world was played on the new snapshot, so it might be a little tough to download, but I'll try to keep it updated. Anyway, I put up a sizable 18 by 18 block safe zone for building. I'm not limiting myself in these 100 days by any means, but you've gotta start somewhere. There's a lot of blocks I've never used in my entire entire Minecraft career, concrete being one of them, so I started with that. The point of these hundred days is to increase my building knowledge and skill. Everyone seems to just make fun of me when they watch my series, and I want to change that! So while sure, on day one, my structure isn't much, hopefully by the end of these 100 days, I'll build something that I'm proud of. Hey, look at that, I already have a visitor day too, how do you like the land? He decided not to subscribe, and that made me sad. Will you subscribe? I put up some framing today, and I think I'm gonna go with brick. I just never really get a chance to use the material. Of course, all of this is subject to change, but I threw some birch on the framing, too. There's a nearby birch forest, and I like doing stuff like that. Another big goal for myself in this video is to get myself better at redstone wiring. I started with a piston door. It should be pretty simple, but it's gonna get way more complex. So all I did day three was wire up a piston door. I wanted a button on the outside for safety and pressure plates on the inside. This taught me a lot about piston doors, getting it perfect. And after a full day, it works. Don't judge me. All right, now we're framing day four. It's easily one of my worst skills. My builds just always come out so boxy, and I wanted to try to change that here, but not much happened day four. Still pretty boxy by day five, but it's getting a little better. At least there's some depth. Windows should definitely help break up all the brick, and I installed several today. Getting it all to look nice with the white trim was a little difficult, but I think in the end it'll look really, really good. I also have this absolutely insane dream of having lights, you know, with like switches that you can turn on and off. Sure, it's totally frivolous. You could just use a torch, but this is creative and it'll test my redstone wiring. Because the structure is pretty basic, it didn't take very long to set it up, and look at that. I can make it dark. I also want a fireplace on the first First floor, but this won't be an ordinary fireplace. Oh no, this is creative. No, no, this is gonna be a redstone fireplace with on-off buttons. The redstone was honestly the easy part with this build. The hard part's gonna be getting it to look nice. For now, this is what I'm going with. Not too bad, and I'm sure it'll change. The wall that the fireplace sits in is also pretty flat, so the chimney will provide some depth. The whole process got me looking at the outside of the house, and hey, that frame's starting to look kind of good. So I put some more love into the outside of the house. It's one of the things I'm really trying to get right with these hundred days. I also found a good spot to start the entrance to a basement, because every good house needs a basement. I think in the basement I'm gonna play around with some of these new blocks like the deep slate tile stairs. Or maybe quartz. Who knows? I'm erratic. Like I said, for now it's just an entrance. I'll have time to clean it up. Did some more inside touches day nine, installing some crown molding that looks pretty schnazzy. I also switched up the base trim to quartz. It's more of a bright white instead of the pale white. I liked how it turned out. A little more cozy, but it definitely needs some color. I put in a rug, which I really like, but now the light's off center, so I gotta fix that too. One of my favorite things was outside my six wide window. I put one of every tree sapling. See, that's homey view of the ocean and the saplings. But I'm back to wiring day 10. Today I wanted to install a pressure plate to enter the home, but I wanted it to be able to be toggled on and off. One thing I did today that really helped my redstone was anytime I placed redstone, I tried to put it on yellow concrete or warped wood slabs. During construction today, I accidentally broke a lot of blocks that had redstone on them, and hopefully with the yellow concrete, I won't do that as much. I can't do redstone for more than a day, though. I'll lose my mind, so it's back to the outside. It's looking lovely, but I definitely want to finalize the design on the first floor before moving up, and I think I'm getting there. And one of the things I really gotta fix are these lights. Don't want to do this when I've got a floor above me. I tried to be as efficient as possible with the wiring, and I think I kind of was. But before I can build the floor above me, I need to put some stairs in, and I struggled with the design. And I think this open design is gonna work best. You can make fun of me for using purr, purr but I like it. All right, now moving up a level, I'm feeling pretty confident about my architectural design. The only thing that I'm certain of going up here is a bedroom. I'm not sure on what I'm gonna do with the other space, but I've got good ideas, and some of you may cringe at me using granite, andesite, and diorite for the floor design up here, but I like it. Yeah, big day today, even got a basic bedroom in. Soon I'll be able to sleep instead of just advancing time with cheats. The only thing I really care about in this bedroom is having windows that allow me to see the rising and setting sun. Other than that, I just want it to be nice and cozy, and I think I'm on my way to that here. Though I messed up the walls. Yeah, that just doesn't look right. Wow, what a beautiful home. Wouldn't you just love to live there one day? I'm still working on decorating the bedroom, and this map was essential. I also love how dim it is in here. The floor is slabbed, so nothing can spawn, and I kind of like it that way. Keep it dark in the bedroom. It appears I have space for two other rooms on this second floor. Better choose what I put up here wisely. An enchanting room will be one of them. It's necessary for pretty much every Minecraft house, even though I'm on creative. Oof! Now the door's off center. That's kind of ugly. You know, at least I'm in creative, so it didn't take too long to fix. I'm still not sure what's going in this other room, but at least I got the hallway design done 
today. I got a crazy idea. It wouldn't be a creative video if I didn't build with some diamond blocks somewhere. So today I'm making a treasure room. Nothing too crazy, but it's got enough space for things like dragon eggs, monster heads, that sort of thing. I also took some time to put some paintings up in this hallway, class the place up a little. Oh, and you gotta have labels, even though I built this house from scratch and know where everything is. Later, I was wondering if zombies can spawn on top of chests. So I Googled it and they can. I need to fix this. Well, looks like the blueprints are off and now I have to fix the framing. Shouldn't take too long. Yeah, about a day was wasted making it look all nice, but I did say that framing was very important for me in this video. Hey, and now I honestly think it looks even better than before. Day 19, I poked through the wall in my bedroom. I want to make a balcony. For now, it's just a rough shape, but I'll make it look pretty. Nah, most of today was going to be spent on roofing and I hate roofing even when I can fly. I'm also fairly bad at roofing, so as long as this doesn't look absolutely atrocious, I'll be happy. You know, that's not terrible, especially when you consider that I have more plans for that roof. You'll have to just keep watching to find out. First thing I did day 20 was put a little smoke feature on the top of the chimney. I think it looks kind of nice. Then I did some general landscaping. I haven't really touched the grounds yet in this video, but it's time. Ironically, on the same day I wanted to build a wall around my land, some pillagers showed up. I'm gonna go with red sandstone this time, only because I'm so close to those badlands. The wall does have some weird spots, but I promise I'll fix them later. One thing I also need is some lights on my land, and because I'm insane, I want to be able to turn them on and off. Day 21, I started on the absolutely massive task of wiring up my outside lights. You know, I probably need a permit for this, but I ain't telling the government nothing. I found a nice place for the switch on the first floor. It's right next to a window, so you can see the lights come on and off. But then getting it to look good with the trim was another problem, but I am making this video to get better with redstone, so might as well embrace it. I probably could have wired this all a little cleaner, but it's underground. It probably won't come back to bite me. It does. I'm still just wiring day 22. There's a lot of it. I wish I could tell you how much redstone I use, but now I think we're good. Time to cover it all up and wait till night. I forgot. I don't have to wait till night. I can make it night. Ha ha! Even I thought I was crazy for setting this all up, but when I flipped that switch, it was all worth it. So cool. And with that all done, now it's time to break ground on the basement. Really had to carve for this basement. My plans are big, like your mom. Day 24, I'm working on the color scheme for the basement. It'll be mostly gray, maybe some shades of black if I'm feeling frisky. Oh, and you gotta know I'm putting in some basement lights that can be flicked on and off. Well, it's already starting to get complicated. The basement light circuit is very close to the outside light circuit. I want to tell you right now, this is the first of many times that I had to move around redstone. It was very annoying, but I guess in the end made me a little better with it. Yeah, it gets pretty dark down here, which is what I wanted, but those sea lanterns on the stairs are causing some problems. Whatever, I'll figure it out some other day. I really like this design though. Doesn't it look nice? Yep, we're going with that design for the whole basement, and today I'm actually going to put some stuff in here. First thing I want to build is an exit, and I want to get some more practice with piston doors. The wiring went well. I've already learned a lot. I pretty much couldn't do vertical redstone before this. Only took a day and I had myself a piston door, though it was underground, so I didn't have to be as clean. Now I'm just making it all look pretty, installing lights, that sort of thing. This piston door now serves as a second entrance and exit to my home, which you always need multiple of. The tunnel leads to a nice cave by the ocean, and with a little love, it could be really, really pretty. So that's what I did today. Prettied up a cave. It was kind of fun. The tunnel's finalized, but I have to install some lights. Lanterns are for the poor. A little bit of diverting was necessary to get around the piston door, but other than that, it was mostly just a straight line. I also put lights in the cave entrance, which wasn't too bad, just a little bit of wiring. Then I added some grass and flowers, you know, made it look kind of natural. And then I had to fix the outside lights again because I'm stepping all over my previous redstone. This is a common theme, get used to it. For now, everything's back to normal until I have to build something else and ultimately ruin what I just did. Oh, these are some hardcore basement vibes down here. Spiders, creepers, yeah. Before I build my next creation in the basement though, I went out into the Badlands. I want to test some things. I want an item sorter. I've never built one before. It'd be really cool to have one and today I tried to make one with my own intelligence. No, I uh, I was not able to, but I tried and I guess that's what matters. If you look at my design, I got fairly close, but I'm just gonna look this up on Google. All right, now I'm building an item sorter day 30. I looked up the plans on the internet and I have no shame. Everything was going fine until I popped through the bottom of a small pond and water got all in my redstone. I'm building an incredibly small item sorter and this thing is insanely resource intensive. Can't imagine building a big one in survival. Like I said, it's a pretty small item sorter, so it only took me till day 31 to finish it. But it works, and this was big for me. I'm pretty confident I could do it again. So the rest of the day I spent making it look nicer. It's a pretty ugly piece of technology, even for a basement. And after a day of trimming, it lives in my storage room pretty nice. I like the tinted glass, so you can see some of the innards. This is a little awkward, but after building the item sorter, I needed some fun in my life, so I constructed the Tours Creeper Rehabilitation Center. I just forgot to hit record. It happens sometimes. Really sorry about that one, Tours. I had to finalize some of the features today, so at least there's some footage of me building that. It's pretty awesome. You can make the creeper swim, poke 
them, even impale them. Lots of functions. Day 33, I labeled up my storage. It's not like I need storage. I'm in creative, but you know, I want to make the house livable. Yeah, you might have to double up on some chests when you're using this storage room, but it's got everything you would pretty much need in a Minecraft game. And finally, I put some copper around the item sorter chest. I thought it made it look mechanical. This next build is something I developed in my Notable Craft server, and it's pretty nice. So underneath my basement, I built a small auto sheep farm that'll make wool forever. Then using water, I transport the wool up to the basement. And in this hole, a shepherd will live. It's essentially free, easy emeralds at any time. You don't even have to leave the basement. Wool comes up, it goes in this chest, and then you sell it. Hey, guys, yo, what's up? I put you in there to cure the shepherd. I didn't mean anything like this. Is that even legal? Of course, I have to make the enclosure around the shepherd look nice, and I'm getting there while curing him. Day 36, I felt like making a larger map. I just love maps. Nothing's wrong with me. It's also just kind of fun to fly around with an elytra and unlimited rockets. Not sure how, though, but Minecraft just broke. Maybe it's all these unlimited rockets. Yeah, shortly after this, the game crashed. Lost all my map progress. So instead of making a map, I decided to wire up my basement staircase. Should be fun. It was a little complicated, but at least there's nothing else back here, so I didn't really have to worry about tripping over my own wire. This is one of those projects I probably wouldn't have been able to do on day one of this video. I've learned a lot so far. Creative has really helped my redstone game. Took about a day, but now it's wired up and it's even darker down here. Yes. I also added a service entrance to my redstone so I don't have to break walls and ceilings every time I have to move something, which is quite frequently. All right, the front door has been staring at me for a while. I like it, but maybe I want it a little bigger. Also, a lot of this redstone was done at the start of this video, and like I said, I've come a long way. I'm sure I can make it more efficient. Pretty much everything needed to be replaced, and then it started bumping into my basement light circuit, so it was kind of a mess. So now the door works great, but the inside lights are broken. Hooray! I'm just glad I used concrete for all this redstone. It would have been a nightmare to do without it. Definitely something I'm gonna use in some future builds. At least now everything pretty much works. I just have to finalize the trim. But honestly, I think I'm getting too much red here. I liked the red door idea, but might have to change it. I think the iron door with red trim looks a little nicer. And no, I don't think it's too much red. Day 40, Twitter named my shepherd. This is why you need to follow me on there. Check the link in the description. Other than that, I decided to make a disposal system, but I wanted it to be a triple disposal system. It was sort of a nightmare to wire up, but I did it, and it's in orange, so I know not to break any of these blocks. I might get lava everywhere. It sounds pretty atrocious, but hey, that means it's working. Day 41, I'm gonna wire up the upstairs lights. I've been meaning to do this for a while. For now, they've just been on redstone blocks. Fortunately, there's a lot of open space up here, which gave me plenty of room to wire. There also ain't very many lights up here anyway, so it really didn't take that long. Oh yeah, this is some nice darkness here. Very spooky. So now that I have the lights fixed, I want to work on the bedroom, put in some amenities, make it a little livable. One of the things I wanted was a switch to turn off the lights from the bedroom, and I made that here. Didn't take too long to wire up, because I'm decent now. I also made a small bubble elevator that can get you to the roof if you ever wanted to take off with an elytra or jump to your death. And I'm still working on that balcony. Not sure where I'm gonna put it in the end. I don't want it to be too big. Something like this is honestly perfect. I was really trying to get an outside light switch up on the balcony, but it was kind of tough. It's a very tight space up here. I got it working, but I'd have to either move a wall or move the balcony and wasn't really in the mood to do either, so I gave up. Yeah, I think I prefer it just looking nice and clean. I mean, look at that view. Ooh, it gets a little dark at night. I was trying to find a clever way to fix it, but I think I'm just gonna use lanterns. I used end rods, and now that balcony adds some serious depth to the house. After getting such a good view of the ocean from the balcony, I figured it was time to connect myself to it. I just built a little brick passage down to sea level, nothing too crazy. Yeah, cute little dock made of birch and brick like the rest of the house, good for fishing, boating, all that stuff. Oh, and of course I'm gonna hook up some lights from the outside light circuit. You knew I was gonna do that. Pretty much got the basic structure done in a day, and I'm happy with it. It looks kinda nice. Day 46, I started installing a conduit underneath my dock. It's one of those things you have to have. Then I cleaned up the beach. I don't like having dirt, grass, and sand all over the place. I just wanted sand. Straight sand. Only sand! Yes. Much better. So pure. Nearby my land, there's a sunken ship, and I think I want to do something with it. This is creative. First step was plugging up all the holes in the ship to make it livable. Yeah, it became a cool hangout spot. Not too functional, but, you know, you can look out into the ocean. Kind of nice. And now I'm putting in a glass tunnel all the way there. This is kind of dumb, but kind of nice too. I tried my best to make the entrance of the tunnel look nice, at least a little oceany. Kind of looks like one of those ruined things you find naturally in the game. I like it down here. In the ship, in the actual tunnel itself, it's all just very pretty. I've 
have been meaning to do this for a while, but today I'm squaring out the backyard's wall. The wall's the easy part, the hard part's gonna be landscaping and new lights. And as you know, the outside lights are very close to the basement lights, so this was pretty much a whole day thing. If I just made the basement like a block or two lower, I wouldn't have to dig up my land every five days. So day 50, I'm just trying to make it all look a little more natural. I love the wall, but you gotta make it look nice. Though honestly, I think by the sea, I wanna keep it sheer. I did sandstone, almost looks like a sea wall. I like it. And now I'm adding decoration. This is creative, I can't have an ugly wall. I decided to go with this design as well. The too high wall is objectively more safe, but I think this looks a little prettier, and that's what I'm going for in this video. Yeah. I think that looks good and it's safe, which is really what I care about, even though I'm in creative and can't really die. As you can see, we're getting pretty filled up in the basement, only a few more pods to go. I didn't have a mine, so I decided to build access to one today. Every house needs a mine. However, I forgot I'm on caves and cliffs, so day 52, when I started the mine at Y13, which is normally where you find diamonds, I was in a big cave. Yeah, now I'm realizing that mining's gonna be completely different in the new update, and building mines like I used to just won't work. So I built a new mine, a couple blocks above bedrock, I'm not sure if this is is correct, but I went with it anyway. First thing I did was build a one by one by one mine. I'll probably never use it, but I've never had one and figured now is a good time. I also built a more traditional mine. Don't know what you want from me, it's just a mine. Day 53, I set aside a room for mine storage. Not enough people do this, but it's super helpful. And then I installed lights, cause who wouldn't want to turn off the lights in their mine? That sounds super safe. Then day 54, you might not believe this, but I went into survival mode and actually mined. I had no idea what I would need for storage or what I would generally get when I'm down here mining, so I figured I'd take a day and do it, it's good practice. I even found diamonds, which is a little underwhelming because it's a creative game, but still kind of felt good. I mean, hey, they're diamonds. So it turns out I probably don't need all of this storage, but hey, it doesn't hurt to have multiple chests. Now I'm back in the proper basement, day 55, building another portal because every basement needs another portal. Looks like I'm gonna have to move my service entrance though. Honestly, that was kind of a blessing. My service entrance was in a really weird spot. And now it's better so I can access my redstone more easily. Day 56, I checked out the nether. I spawned in a soul sand biome, which is honestly, probably one of the worst ones, but whatever. I didn't want to build a huge nether hub, I mostly just wanted to focus on the overworld in this video, so I just made my portal safe and a little nicer. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Built a wall, put down some slabs, added a lodestone, the basics. Back in the real world, day 57, and decided to test my outside lights. I forgot to test them a few days ago when I installed new ones, and oh, look at that, they're broken! While I was fixing them, I had to move some things because it's hella cluttered down there, but with the better service access and labels, it made it a little easier. All right lights are fixed. Can't wait to redo this in three more days. But enough working on the bottom of the house. Now it's time to work on the top. I did tell you I was gonna mess with the roof again. I want a beacon up here. I'm pretty sure it'll fit. At least I hope it'll fit. To complicate things, I want it to be a quadruple beacon that could be turned on and off. I should be able to make this happen. You know, there was a lot of room in the attic until I added all of these emerald blocks. This is definitely complicated. I could always make a new roof entirely, but I'm trying to avoid that. I want to get this thing to work. Good news is, by day 59, I had a working beacon switch. Now with the flick of a lever, I can turn the beacons on and off. Covering it all up was a bit of a pain, but at the end of the day, I just wanted it to be symmetrical. Yeah, I've definitely got an interesting roof style going on here, but you know, it's got a beacon in it. It, so you can't really complain. And all that flying around my house had me looking at the outside more. It looks decent, but it needs more love. So now I'm building a front gate. It's gonna have some piston features, shouldn't be too tough. I got the piston section working today, though I still have to make a lock. Can't have creepers wandering into my land. So like I said, now I'm building the lock. All it does is stop these outside pressure plates from working. That didn't take too long, so I also spent some time landscaping. Trimmed out that little pond near my front door. Then I threw hands with this witch. She was on my land, I don't tolerate that. The lawn's still pretty bare compared to the house, and I need to fix that, and I think I'll do it tomorrow. So tomorrow came, and I started experimenting with different ways to break up my flat grass lawn. Flowers was an obvious choice, you really can't can't go wrong with them unless you have a nauseating amount, but I didn't. Then I got myself two tall birch trees. I'm right next to that birch forest, so it just makes sense to have them here. I'm really glad I kept this pond. It's been here since day one, and now it looks really pretty. Like, I can't imagine life without it. I had fun. I was landscaping all night, and the last thing I added was a cactus. It looks good. Day 63, I got myself a cat. Luckily, the right one spawned the first try, so I didn't have to use that netherite sword in my inventory. Of course, I named him Binks, and he's gonna hang out by the fire. Hopefully, he doesn't get burned. I also decided to build a little secret tunnel in my pond. I love this thing and want to make it better. Well, that was an awful mistake. Ah! Day 64, I'm in a faraway desert, clearing it out. I'll tell you why in a second. I want to make some map art, but also don't want to fill up an entire map-sized area with white blocks, so this is a compromise. That only took about a day. The map isn't perfectly smooth, but at least it's all just one color. Day 65, I actually got the art laid out on the ground. This was my first time making any type of map art in Minecraft, so give me a break. In the end, I think it turned out pretty nice. Yeah, my house is nice and all, but it wouldn't be a home without a live, laugh, love sign. Enough 
enough wackiness. Day 66, I'm going into the basement. I'm gonna install a second basement. I want my second basement to have a more sneaky vibe, and I'm gonna put the entrance to it underneath the stairs to the first basement. So, of course, you know I had to move stuff, but by this point, it's pretty standard. Before I can finish it, I've gotta test out a new redstone device called a T-flip-flop. Simply, this is a device that makes a button into a lever, which has tons of uses in tons of different redstone, and today I learned how to make one. And then I installed one for real inside my basement. I'm proud of myself. Yes, I 100% could've just used a lever here, but I like how the button hides in this black stone wall. It gives the basement a much more secret vibe. Anyway, now I'm getting to work on my second secret basement. Should be fun. All I did today was the main room. I went with a basalt and calcite floor that looks pretty good. The textures definitely go. I've got space for three rooms down here, and today I'll be installing the first one. I'm building a second bedroom, one where I'd bring Tors if she ever visited me. This is currently the only room in the entire house with its own lighting circuit, because you gotta have good mood. I also got started on a fireplace behind the bed, but ran out of time. I wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna burn down the whole room setting this thing up. That's very important. It's made in a similar way to the one upstairs. There's buttons to light it and extinguish the fire, and this one's got tinted glass, so it looks real nice. Then I did some extra trim work, that sort of thing. Ladies love trim work. Oh yeah, it's inviting. Not too much, the right amount of sexiness. Now I'm working on my next basement project, but I had to find a zombie in the wall first. Would have been tough if I wasn't a god. I beat him to death with a dark oak door. This was personal. Then I found a new way to carve. I can just hack myself haste. I'm building what I'm gonna call the vault, and it's gonna use a ton of obsidian. It's also secret, so I'm not gonna show too much of how this thing works. If you want, you can download the world and try to get in. The link is in the description. I mean, yeah, I guess you could break your way through, but what's the fun in that? This is pretty much all I can show for day 73. The rest is classified. I guess I can show you what you get if you make it through the vault. If you make it past the vault, I made a treasure room in a world where treasure is worthless. It also has a secret entrance out to the sea, which of course I'm not gonna show you. I don't care if I'm uncreative, placing a whole double chest full of diamond blocks will always be satisfying. Make sure to download all this treasure could be yours. It's definitely not a virus. Now that the vault's done, I have space for one more room in my second basement. I'm crafting a self-destruct button, because I know you'll want to press it. No, no, don't worry, I'll press it for you, and it's gonna be a tragedy. Of course, it's gotta have safety features. I have several mental illnesses. So this is the button that if I press, the house will blow up. I'm gonna have several pistons lock up that signal, though, so you gotta be really sure you wanna blow up your own home. The wiring is straight up ugly, but it's underground, so I can deal with it. That didn't take long, so I got to digging. I'm gonna place a mountain of TNT in this hole. I mined at night, and almost died in my creative video for it. That would have been embarrassing. Day 77, I wanted to make it tougher to get into the self-destruct room. You shouldn't be able to just walk right in. So I tracked a wire of redstone all the way from the self-destruct room to the vault. I say that like it was tough, but it really wasn't hard. I've gotten good with redstone over these days, and yeah, I'm in creative. So now if you want to blow up the house, you have to first go to the vault, which is fair. You know, I haven't really been looking forward to filling this hole up with TNT, though. If I made this TNT with my own hands, sure, this would be really fun. One of the most fun blocks to place, but I got these in creative. It didn't feel the same. There was also a lot of it. It was very tedious. If this doesn't blow up my house, I don't know what will. I'm gonna test it all today. I'm glad I did. The system didn't immediately work. I just didn't place the TNT up high enough. I needed one more layer. All right, now it should work. And with this button press, I'll blow up my house. Initial test needs to show that everything is working now. So I will see how this goes. All right, well, that's a pretty sizable crater. Definitely destroyed something. It destroyed some stuff. Of course, it messed up the lights. I thought it'd be more in ruin, though. Yep, everything on the outside's 100% fine. Not much of a self-destruct. Well, anyway, now it's time to load my backup that I totally made. That's kind of weird. When I loaded the backup, it was in the same spot as my explode. Wait a minute. There was no backup. So now I have to live with a semi-exploded house. I'm in creative. Hopefully I can rebuild. You know, now I'm kind of glad I built a pretty poor self-destruct feature. I would have to rebuild a lot more. Everything's kind of broken a little bit. Kind of hard to explain, but it shouldn't take too long to fix. I will say it'd be absolutely impossible to fix this stuff in survival mode. There's a giant crater under my house now. Day 81 just doesn't exist. Like every Everything in about 10 billion years or so. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. Everything in the first basement was pretty much fine. Had to do some work there, but I have to completely rebuild the second basement. I'll say this, wiring was easier with the whole thing cleared out. I was working in a vacuum. I spent most of today working on my second bedroom. You never know when tours might come over. I gotta say, that was the first of many explosions that will happen in this room. I did add a nice window to remind anyone who sleeps here that they're far underground and no one will hear them scream. Now it's time to do the vault. Nothing survived except the shell. It was easier to put together the second time and the open space helped. But really, I'm trying not to show too much here. I'm hoping to kill some of you with this thing. If you mine through it, you're not notable, so you could mine through it, but you'll have to live with yourself. All right, that's done. Now I just gotta put back the self-destruct room. Nah, probably won't build another one. For now, it's just a service entrance. I'll think of something to put here eventually, and you know, I'm kinda digging the crater. Not really digging how my shame will always 
live with me, but maybe I'll learn how to cope over time. Okay, we going to the house. It's gonna be an inspection day. I checked all the buttons, lights, and levers and found no leaks. Everything's working. I did have to cover up my secret tunnel in the pond. It was completely destroyed. Oh, hey, an axolotl. Hope you enjoyed living. I had a little more time in the day and decided to change up the first floor. I haven't really touched it in a while. First, I tiled up the floor and then went with a little different of a wall color. I put a black rim around the carpet and now I think it's a little more cozy in here. I kept working on the first floor, day 86. The first floor of a Minecraft house is very important. I just put in stuff that every Minecraft house needs, crafting tables, furnaces, and chests. Little trick though, I want a chest on the first floor to link up to my auto sorter. Would have been real easy to do if I wasn't drowning in wires. Water was involved, so I had to be very careful. One block of that stuff would wreck me. Doing this taught me a lot more about my item sorter. Remember, I looked up these plans on Google, so I think I understand it a little bit more. By the end of the day, I had it working. Any items you put in the chest on the first floor get sorted. Sorter chest works great, but I want to put a disposal chest right next to it. I can do this. This game is for children. It's pretty tight, very much unlike your mom. It works, but I used way too many hoppers. It's creative though, so who cares? It took me 87 days to make this house practical. That's creative for you. When I repaired the basement, I didn't restore the disposal chest all the way, and I gotta fix that today. I guess I don't really have to, but I want to. I'm sure I can build it better. Sex tuple disposal. It ain't any faster than a triple disposal. I just like saying sex tuple. A lot of little things. Day 89, clearing out a honey-do list I wrote for myself. Some of the walls on the first floor were still gray and not dark gray, because they had redstone on them, but I fixed it today. Yeah, playing around with some paintings, just trying to make it look nice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that I like. I even took some time to put some other redstone on concrete that wasn't. It just makes it easier in the future. All right, it's day 90. Time's ticking. Better pick what I do carefully. I had to move a wall for this window and only broke a couple of things. I also made a really nice bow and put it right next to the bed. You gotta stay ready. Oh, and you gotta have a fountain. All nice houses have fountains. I used copper and tried my best to make it look artsy. It looks pretty good, but because I'm crazy, I'm not done yet. I'm making a wishing fountain with redstone completely unnecessary. Throw that useless wish in the fountain and another item pops out. I want fireworks to launch out of the fountain when you put something in, so I spent all of day 92 making some. And then I made myself some real expensive creeper twinkle trails. I didn't have any fun. I'm stupid. This is the type of thing I wanted from this video. Useless builds that only waste time, but that were made with love. I just realized there's no food production in my whole house, though. Maybe I shouldn't waste time on useless things. I think I'm just gonna do a different mine entrance. This one gets axolotls in it. I cleared out a hole, wired up some lights. I'm getting pretty used to it. This won't be a huge farm, but it will be efficient and kind of gorgeous. All that gray in the basement needs some color. It's less of a farm and more of a seed bank, but that's really all you need. Oh, I got all the major crops, even that sweet berry cut bush. Yes, push. At the back, I've got a speed farm so you can make anything whenever you want. Really, it didn't take long. Most of the care today went towards landscaping. I really love the look of the farm when I come down the basement steps. It's a great addition. But I moved the mine to do it, so now I've got to work on that. The new mine access is going to be in the second basement where the self-destruct system used to be. Yeah, it's a little more inconvenient this way, but I'm going to make it more convenient. Here's the challenge. I want access to my sorter from the mine. It really shouldn't be that bad. I already built this sorter just have to get items there. I'm going to use a simple bubble elevator. Should work fine. Hooking up required some diverting, but it's been easier since I've been using concrete. I used a lot of hoppers. I think that's pretty much the key to making anything work. I'm changing up the storage a bit. Day 96 wanted some auto smelters, even though I never smelt anything. I was already in here for the other thing. Figured I'd make this a little more usable. Day 97, I noticed a few lights at the back of the property were broken. As a Minecraft electrician, fixing them didn't take long, and now I'm inspired. I could use a horse and a nice place to put it, so I built a stable. All right, time to make one. Grabbed a horse egg and another right sword in case I don't get the right one. I've decided to show this clip because I know it'll make the horse people mad. I only had to kill the one and then I got a horse that looked like Warthog. He's pretty much identical to Warthog too. Good solid horse. Home? Home is where the horse is. More carving day 98, building something I probably should have built a really, like, really long time ago. It's a redstone testing room, and the lights are hooked up to the basement circuit, so it doubles as a monster spawner. I never got a chance to use this thing in my builds. It's new, and you can understand my hesitancy. It has tentacles. Eh, I'll probably never get a chance to use it anyway, because this update's never coming out. Day 99. It's almost over, and I know just what to build. Oh no, this time not in the house, in the mesa next to the house. I'm building a monument to me out of terracotta. It'll look magnificent. Magnificent. I'm not the best pixel artist, but I can make a head. Honestly, that's not too bad. I'm gonna pray to this thing daily. It blends in pretty nice with that plateau and definitely isn't creepy at all. Zero percent. But here we are, day 100. I pretty much just walked around and marveled in my own creativity. By the end of this video, I wanted to build something that I was proud of, and honestly, I can say that I am. I taught myself a lot of new tricks that I'll definitely use in upcoming Minecraft content. I made myself better. Oh, and yes, Aiden down in the comments, I'm sure you could build way better and so much more in a hundred 
better days. Your Minecraft skills are far better than mine, and I have to live my whole life knowing that. If you'd like to explore the house yourself, make sure to check out the link in the description. It may be a little bit tough to download because this was made on a snapshot, but I'll keep it updated. Oh, and please don't forget to subscribe. If you do, I'll make some space in my bedroom for you. I also want to give a massive shout out to everyone who came out to the live premiere of this video. I love watching these with you all for the first time. Spam some hearts in the chat to show love. I promise I have more Minecraft content coming, so it won't be too long before you see a new 100 days. And I swear 3,000 days is coming, but it's big, you know, it's a lot to work on. Thank you all for watching. Please stay notable. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Here are the credits for the video that you just watched. As you can see, it was mostly done by me. Yeah, I'm very talented. Stay notable again, and don't forget to subscribe. I need to feed my family.